Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox, take a close up look and test the Tech Life sound level meter. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a digital meter for measuring sound or noise levels in decibels. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the box by, of course, removing the shrink wrap. So that's the shrink wrap peeled off. Let's go ahead and, of course, pop open the box flap there at the top and tip the contents out very gently. So that's the contents emptied. Let's set the box to the side and then spread the contents out so we can see what was just removed from the box. Okay, so we can see that it comes with some papers a 9 volt battery and of course the tech life sound level meter itself so let's first take a look first at the warranty card so it comes with a warranty card here and let's flip it open and give you a quick look as to the warranty details for the tech life sound level meter all right, we can now set that to the side and move on to the next item. So there is a user manual or user guide or instructions on how to use the sound level meter. And as always, always take the time to read or go through the user manual before attempting to operate any electronical, electronical, electronic or electrical devices. So there we go. So giving a quick flip, of course, it's too small for me to read and I can't read that fast, but you can always pause the video and review it or reference it at your own time. So you can see that the manual is covered in several languages. Okay, so once again, so that's the table of contents right there to the Tech Life sound level meter user manual. Okay, so setting that to the side, we do have a 9 volt battery as well. So it's nice to see that it comes included with a battery. Let's tip it out from its little bubble wrap. Pack it right there. And now a nice good look at the 9 volt battery. So 9 volt battery has two connectors on the same end or two terminals. Okay, so moving on from the 9 volt battery is the Tech Life sound level meter itself. So you can see it is a handheld device and obviously battery operated. So let's remove it from its plastic wrapper right there. And then now we have a nice good look at the Tech Life sound level meter. And you can see that it does have a microphone on the top end. And of course there is a foam cover to it. And there is a digital display there, an LCD. and a couple of buttons to operate the sound level meter. And I'm just going to give you an all-round 
view as well of the sound level meter. And size wise, you can see resting in the palm of my hand. And it is reasonably light, it's not heavy at all. It's just maybe a light to medium weight to it. And you can see the back details as well. I'm going to show you the specifications at the back or technical data right there. Okay, so there are some warnings or there is a warning there. Along with the battery specs. So the 9 volt battery supplied will power this sound level meter nicely. Okay, so nice good look at the sound level meter and the buttons there, nice and soft. And of course, the construction is a nice and tough ABS plastic. And also at the top end, there's actually a tripod mount as well. You need to mount it in a static or permanent position. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the battery cover. Let's slide the battery cover open. And you can see the 9 volt battery compartment very clearly. And of course, we need to remove the protective shrink wrapping from the battery. And let's do that very carefully from the bottom end with this pen knife. Trying to do it very carefully so. So I don't end up cutting my fingers off or starting or start an electrical fire. So doing it at the bottom end away from the top two terminals right there. Okay, so that's the shrink wrap removed. Let's go ahead and pop the battery in so you can see the orientation right there with the terminals in the battery compartment diagram. Okay, so let's go ahead and of course plug it in based on the terminal position or terminal contacts. And there's no real reason to follow that orientation in the compartment. Just make sure that you connect the terminals correctly. There's only one way to place the battery onto the contacts anyway. So there we go. And let's see if I can peel off this top right here and it does come off the foam covering for the sensor end or microphone end of the sound level meter. So let's pop it back on. So a nice soft foam there, it doesn't really go very deep inside. And let's see if we can turn it on by pressing on the max min button. Perhaps not. Let's try the hold button. Perhaps not, but there is actually a power button at the bottom right there. Okay, so there we go. It is now measuring the level of sound. Testing, testing. So you can see as I speak, the measurement does reflect the decibels that's being measured by the sound level meter. Hello everybody. So right there you can see the ambient. Let me set it down and not speak for a moment so that we can see the ambient noise level in the room. So it was 33.2 decibels. So if I continue, as you can see, it does 
go all the way down to 33.2 right there okay and there is hold as well let's hold it as you can see it does hold that measurement right at the very point when you press the hold button okay or maybe a split second after and let's try the min and max okay so min and max just shows you what's been measured so there we go throughout the moment you turn the device on so bring it up close showing the maximum we've measured so far 70.1 now saying 2.6 testing and it continues to update which is good to see and of course there's the minimum measurement as well and of course the current reading all right so nice simple device for measuring sound level or noise levels And we can turn it off by simply hitting the power button and pressing it again. Shows you the full LCD displayed right there. So the different kind of options or notifications and indicators on the screen. And let's turn it back on and set it back down. So that's the Tech Life Sound Level Meter. Thanks for watching and happy measuring.